will have no fault so in this video I'm going to tell you how to replace the sky on your photos in Photoshop so without any further ado let's just jump into Photoshop Okay, so here I have a photo with a boring sky, so now I want to change the sky with the sunset. The first thing you want to do is unlock your layer here. Then you want to separate your object from the background. Here you can use either pen tool or quick selection tool, but here I'm gonna use quick selection tool so just select the object from the background okay if you're done with the selection now you need to click on this icon then import the sunset background I have already imported it you, you can search the sunset background everywhere here I'm gonna use my own photo that I, that I took then crop it to just the sky only so I'm going to crop it and then crop it to just the sky only press here and then drag it to the main object ok so it's imported here now you need to expand it to the length of the photos press enter now take the sky to the bottom layer just drag it down here and here we have the sky background now we need to group them into two so here I'm gonna right click here and then group from layers and I will name this background The other one, I'll do the same thing. Group from layers. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna name this object. Okay. So we have two separate objects here. Now we go to the object. Click in the mask and right click, select and mask. Change the view to on black A and then change the opacity to 17%. Now use Rewind Edge Brush tool to disable the unwanted edge. Now I'm gonna change the size here and just drag to the unwanted edge. And done. Press OK here. Now click on the sunset and transform it. I'm gonna go here and then click in here, Ctrl T, and then press this icon, and then just drag it wherever you want. Okay, press Enter to the object here right click 
convert to small to object then go to filter camera flow filter change the exposure okay, I'm just gonna change it like this to contrast the highlights shadows the whites and the blacks and the vibrance and now go to detail change the luminance the amount like this and press ok now right click on the object again rasterize layer then go to adjustment layer icon Choose color blends. Clip this into the layer. Press this icon and change the shadows, mid-tones, and highlights. Adjustment layer again, photo filter, clip to the layer at this icon, and then search for your background color, which is orange. I'm just gonna use this orange, press OK, and then change the density. Here. Now go to adjustment layer again, click in here, brightness, contrast, clip to layer again, and play with the brightness and contrast. Okay, now we're gonna create a new layer. Press this icon and right click in here. Create clipping mask. Now go to edit, fill, change the contents to 50% gray. Press OK. And then change the blending mode to soft light. Now go to Prostel, click in this Prostel, change the opacity into 15 or 16 percent, and then I'm gonna re resize it. Okay, and then press and then brush the edge of your object so you just brush the edge of the object Done. then go to the background group again we just gonna answer this right click in here and then convert to small to object now go to filter blur gaussian blur now 
we just gonna change the radius? Mm, I think I'm gonna use 15.3 or 11.1 or I think this is great. Press OK. So now we are done with all the edit. Now we need to apply the image into a layer. You can press Ctrl Shift Alt E or make a new layer. I'm gonna make a new layer. Go to image. Apply image. Okay. You can also do the sort cut. Just press Ctrl Shift Alt E. Now right click on the layer here. Convert to small object. Go to filter, camera raw filter for finishing. Now we're gonna change the highlights. Here, come down like this, the shadow, come down here, the whites, the blacks, okay, and change the clarity. Can we use like 23? And you press OK. And we're done here. Make as creative as you can. Hope this video helps you. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. And as always, stay creative.